what's up? Today is Monday and it's basically full work day for me. I stayed up editing the vlog super late last night. So I'm pretty tired, but no excuses. We got stuff to get done tonight. here to get one thing because yesterday I forgot to get my greens at the farmer's market. So we resort to the next best option and probably more affordable option. Thank you. Secure the bag. Alright, breakfast is done and now it's time for me to get in the editing room for the work day. All right, here we go. All right, all done editing for the time being. Uh, made a bunch of clips for our podcast, Studio 22. If you haven't checked it out yet, Go check it out. There's some amazing content in there, some amazing episodes. Jim Nance, guy who broadcast the freaking Super Bowl. Stedman Graham, Oprah Winfrey's longtime partner who's also an amazing author and just a really cool guy. We've had a bunch of pro athletes. We've had a bunch of country music stars. We've had a couple billionaires on our podcast. Amazing people who provide a lot of value. And if you haven't checked it out yet, you should go check it out. skate kind of clear my mind like I said um, didn't really have that much exciting stuff going on today cinematically so I didn't really do a whole lot of vlogging today but I did want to airplane I did want to talk about a certain subject and to be honest with you I tried to rack my brain to find literally anything else that I could talk about today in my vlog but this one subject kept coming back to me and uh, it's just something that I can't stop thinking about. And uh, that subject is religion. So, um, you know, let's sit down with this. All right. Hey, look at it. Hey. Oh. <laughs> it was a slug, I thought it was a worm. Ugh, he like curled up on me, that was weird. Nobody stops at this intersection here. It's unreal stop signs in all three directions and everybody's just like running i almost got hit here one time so this one is kind of tough for me to talk about because this is uh one of the two subjects that you're not supposed to talk about with other people uh politics and religion um but to me religion is like to me religion is one of the most to me religion is one of the most important things in the world uh, because it deals with uh the real stuff that faces every single one of us, you know, those big questions, what happens when you die, and things like that. And for a really long time, I was an atheist. I didn't see anything beyond this physical world that presented itself to me that was worth putting faith into, uh, if that makes sense. Thank you. That's how you stop at a stop sign. And so it's been, I don't know, probably almost say like eight years now that I've been a believer in God. I had an experience that made me shift my perspective and from that moment forward, there's never been any doubt that there is a God and a higher power that permeates all, all of this, everything that you see. And from that day forward, I have been seeking God in my own ways and trying to understand what that means, what religion is the right one. I think for me personally, I believe there's truth in every religion, which is why I've never been the kind of guy to be like, oh, I'm this or I'm that. But lately I've been feeling a different kind of calling. You know, 
but I think I'm gonna go home for this one. Okay, like I said, lately I've been hearing a different call and I don't know if this has happened to anybody else out there who's been in my situation, but I have felt a very strong pull towards becoming a Christian and getting baptized. There's definitely been some, I don't even wanna say pressures, cause it hasn't been, I've, I have never felt pressured by anybody in my family or in my circle to do that. But my family has always encouraged it, like especially my stepdad and my mom, they are very Christian, they go to church, I mean, pretty much every week as far as I know, and you know, they're about it. It was never something that interested me because I didn't want to be a part of a control system and because I thought that being a Christian meant that I couldn't take anything from any other religions and um, apply that to my life. But lately I've kind of started to feel like that doesn't matter because like whether or not I choose to take the leap and get baptized, I'm still going to do yoga. You know what I mean? That part's like kind of a weird thing for me. But anyway, this morning I was stretching out and a thought came into my head. Something inside me told me to read the Gospel of John. And so I have this, this Bible that my stepdad gave me a couple years ago. And so I flipped it over to the Gospel of John. It was amazing though. I mean, because he talks about baptism and it was so interesting to me because John was not himself the light but he was there to show the way to the light and he was baptizing people. And the Pharisees took a lot of offense to this and were like, you know, who do you think you are? You think you're the son of God, all this stuff. And he said, no, he didn't believe that. Um, but basically he was sent to be the one before the son of God. And by the way, this translation is um, probably different from yours at home. It's not my favorite, to be honest with you, but it's very simple language and it gets the point across. Some Jews from Jerusalem sent a group of priests to ask John who he was, and he was completely honest. He told the plain truth. I am not the Messiah. They pressed him. Who then? Elijah? I am not. The prophet? No. Exasperated, they said, who then? We need an answer for those who sent us. Tell us something, anything about yourself. And John replied with, I am thunder in the desert. Make the road straight for God. I'm doing what the prophet Isaiah preached. Now, I don't know exactly what the prophet Isaiah preached, but if you do, you should leave a comment down below so that I can um, full circle that. I'm sure I will anyway, but if someone does it for me, I'd appreciate it. Now they had a question of their own. If you're neither the Messiah nor Elijah nor the prophet, why do you baptize? John answered, I only baptize using water. A person you don't recognize has taken his stand in your midst. He comes after me, but he is not in second place to me. I'm not even worthy to hold his coat for him. I think he's talking about Jesus. These conversations took place in Bethany on the other side of the Jordan where John was baptizing at the time. So I want to read another passage from this. And this is um, John 3. I'm not going to read the whole thing. There was a man of the Pharisee sect, Nicodemus. Not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. A prominent leader among the Jews. Late one night, he visited Jesus and said, Rabbi, we all know you're a teacher straight from God. No one could do all the God-pointing, God-revealing acts you do if God weren't in on it. Jesus said, you're absolutely right. Take it from me. Unless a person is born from above, it is not possible to see what I'm pointing to, to God's kingdom. How can anyone, said Nicodemus, be born who has already been born and grown up? You can't re-enter your mother's womb and be born again. What are you saying with this born from above talk? Jesus said, you're not listening. Let me say it again. Unless a person submits to this original creation, the wind hovering over the water creation, the invisible moving the visible, a baptism into a new life. It's not possible to enter God's kingdom. Wow, okay, that's crazy. So really thinking about this a lot recently, a big part of me is considering getting baptized and here I am just going about my day when a thought pops into my mind. I should read the Gospel of John. What a weird thing to happen. I don't know, it's just strange. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys just to help you kind of see where I'm at in my life, what I'm going through.
through. If you have any experience with this type of thing, um, specifically if you're someone who was an atheist and you became a Christian, I would love to just chat with you. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. Um, thank you guys for being here again. This is three days in a row that I've done this and I'm kind of loving it. I might just keep going. So we'll see you guys in the next one and thank you and I love you.